Hello, so I wanted to talk about using um, vitamin C as an all over the body topical. Um, I've done this before and it actually worked out really, really well. Um, it was, I did it using the Drunk Elephant vitamin C. It was like, like the $70 one. Um, that one is like only 15%, um, but it's like it's pH balanced at three, which is perfect for vitamin C serum. So when using it all over your body, like you're gonna feel a little bit of tingle, but the great thing about it was it helped with the cell turnover. So while I was taking glutathione, it was helping me be able to basically any of like the old skin, like the old brown skin, like it was able to basically peel off in a way that like wasn't as noticeable as a chemical peel, but kept things like looking really, really bright. And so um, that's why I highly recommend it. But of course, for me that got kind of expensive because that one's like $70 and I've used other vitamin C serums in the past but um, I didn't have as much information or as much knowledge into what makes them basically become inactive and so for vitamin C they do have like a shelf life and also they do like especially the ones that have the preservatives in it like they have to be stored in such a way like the container has to be airtight which the drunk elephant one is airtight if you're not making or if you're not getting new batches like within a couple weeks it will lose its effectiveness so an airtight container which the other one did have it and also it has to be light proof this one let in zero light so even like the amber bottles if you're gonna be making vitamin c yourself which i'm gonna be doing on patreon i'm going to be putting um, foil around my amber bottles just to keep any type of sunlight out and um you can test the effectiveness like of the vitamin c serum so when you make it yourself or even if you already have vitamin c serum from a different company you could literally go test it right now um one of the things that i use so these are ph test strips and so i've used these for testing the ph of my water when i was on alkaline water i will also be using this for testing the ph of my homemade vitamin c and so once it gets to three it's perfect it's like it's beautiful and then throughout like um because if you're gonna be making it yourself you need to make it in small batches because you need it to be fresh or it's gonna lose effectiveness um but it's so funny because like the same thing happens with the vitamin c's that are on the shelves right now like that you could get at a store or you could order from online like some of them you'll get them at first and like they'll work and then by the time you get all the way down to like the end of the bottle it's like it's not brightening as much or, or it's almost like um, a placebo effect so you can now you know test it get a strip and basically you just want it to be number three so usually the strips will like have these um yeah and then you just need to you know color coordinate but yeah that's how you know if you're getting basically gypped with your vitamin c um but using vitamin c as an all over um topical it's really 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 helpful now vitamin c with some things like um retinols retinoids um you definitely do not want to mix those so if you're going to be using it as a topical it's recommended that you would use the retinoid or retinol at night and then use the vitamin c in the morning um but you can do whatever you want but yeah it is it is like a thing that you would not mix the two so you might not want to layer them i only found one site that recommended putting on your vitamin c and letting it absorb into your skin um like i think it was like 30 minutes to an hour prior to putting on anything that has a retinol in it so again that's something that you would have to test out but the worry behind this is that you would basically overwork your skin or irritate it or give yourself some type of rash and so that's why they're like don't use them together because that might be a little too much um so this is just up to you but i thought i would share this for those of you who want a um kind of like a i don't know a chemical peel type topical that you could use every single day um and that you're going to notice results uh even though it gets kind of expensive <laughs> um you know i think the most the cheapest way to do it would be making your own vitamin c serum which is why i'm going to be doing it for me and also i like that i can control the ph of it so i can know when it's it's strongest like when it's working and then of course when it's starting to get um, inactive and then of course you just toss it so that's why small batches will work wonders for you um, and then also keeping it in a container so the container only has to be airtight if you are like buying it like with preservatives in it because of course if air is getting to it it'll basically speed up it going bad if you're making it on your own even if it's exposed to air like you definitely have like a two week shelf life before it becomes inactive that's if the bottle or the container isn't airtight so don't worry too much about the air tightness just worry about not letting light get to it or heat get to it um but most people don't let their vitamin c you know get around heat um and so that's the worry about like 
if you're having, you know, if you're getting vitamin C, like you never know how long has it been on the shelf, one, um, you know, the whole shipping process, uh, you know, those delivery trucks are pretty hot. They're not all temperature controlled. I think more people are starting to come around to putting their products in the fridge, like their face products. Like I've seen people put um, some of their serums in the fridge. And um, you know, that used to be like a really weird thing, but now they're literally making small little fridges just for your toiletry products. So like they can last longer because yeah, it really helps. So um, that's another thing I'll be doing with my vitamin C. I'll be storing it in the fridge. And so I'll let you guys know like how long doing all of that, like it'll stay effective, but usually it's about two weeks and then you'd have to make more. Um, thankfully, the process is really simple. You just have to know first off how to balance the pH, how to be able to test it, um, and also have like ascorbic acid. Um, even the drunk elephant, they're using ascorbic acid. I think that's why it works so freaking well because it's um, definitely the strongest vitamin C that you could use. So I'm gonna be using mine. So this is literally the same vitamin C that I take orally. So I'll be using it, um, yeah, topically as well. So if you're interested in watching this, I'll go down uh, the tutorial and everything. I'm gonna have it up on my Patreon and I'm about to get started on it today. And uh, I'm gonna be using it to first lighten a burn scar that I have. The scar is like two years old now. Um, and so I did get it looked at um, at a med spa that offers scar lightening and uh, different things for hyperpigmentation and um, stretch marks. And basically she was just like, you know, if you use like a high strength vitamin C, like for two months or so, like this will basically blend in with the rest of your skin. And so, um, you know, I'm really thankful for her because obviously like the treatment, if I would have gone there, would have been pretty expensive versus just using um, like a 20 or 30% vitamin C. Now 20 or 30% vitamin C for your skin, just be careful, you know, again, you don't want to like dry out your skin too much. Um, so if you're gonna be using something like that, I would definitely maybe add like a hyaluronic acid to it or an aloe vera because 20 or 30% vitamin C is pretty strong <laughs> um like i said the drunk elephant one worked perfect for when i was using it on my body um and that was only 15 percent but also i had been on glutathione like non-stop for like seven or eight months at that time so it's like basically anything any topical i used it really helped to reveal the new skin underneath it just really helped me speed things up for cell turnover and stuff like that